Hello everybody, hi, welcome to the video uh, on supplements part two. It's an evolution of my previous video, which was to do with supplements, obviously part one. Um, and so um, this is going to be an extension of that uh, in terms of the new stuff that I've been trying, which I have found life-changingly effective. So this is why I'm giving you an update. So uh, first of all, a little, little bit about me. I am a chronic fatigue syndrome ME sufferer, and I have had this disease for six and a half years. Um, roughly because you know you never really know whether there's an onset coming on earlier i've def it's definitely felt some symptoms coming earlier but you know you get the idea um a recover i'm a person who uh, a person who's recovered from the condition almost um and i do have some uh, some some residual effects still left from the condition but they're they're being sorted out in, in, in time um, but, but you know, my life has really changed since 2014, where I made an active decision um, to change my life. And that was where I took my health in my hands, um, cut out all the smoking, all the drinking, all the partying, all the, um, all the gluten. Um, I removed soya from my diet. I stopped having any sweeteners in my diet, etc., etc. All stuff I've mentioned in my previous video, um, but there's no need for me to elaborate on that. If you want to have a look at that in any more detail, please endeavour to do so. So, um, what is this about? So, this is about the video, this is about the supplements that I've been taking here on in. But before we begin with that, I want to have a quick touch base on the videos that I was taking and am taking and I had mentioned in my previous video. Um, so, uh, first thing I'm going to start with is D Ribose. Now, D Ribose, which is this health aid brand, uh, it's fantastic. It comes in tablet form. As you can see in the tablets are quite large and all you do is you can just nibble on the tablets itself so it's not it's not onerous um, it's not as tricky as having to scoop out powder in the right quantities and so on and so forth you can just have a tablet 1000 milligrams I take those about four five or five times a day fantastic for generating ATP uh, which is the molecule that your mitochondria require for um, energy production um, so it's fantastic, really amazing. But you can't take that in isolation, of course, because you need to have it with coenzyme Q10, which is a coenzyme responsible also for the generation of ATP and also respons responsible for, therefore, the generation of energy. So you must take this with the D-ribose. And that's important, actually, because none of these are an isolationist viewpoint. You should only have them collectively. So you should take all of these things together. So the first things I'll deal with is the energy supplements. So, so D-ribose, CoQ10. Then, of course, there is magnesium. Now, magnesium, I take 100 milligrams three times a day. And the reason why I take it in that dose is because when I was taking 350 milligrams all in one, it was giving me heart arrhythmias, which are not fun at all when it, it's just horrendous, your heart actually goes into a bit of a flutter, and that was definitely caused by magnesium. So it's really important to get the dose right, um, and so therefore I, was to, I take three low-dose 100 milligram tablets three times a day, morning, afternoon, and early evening, because of course um, you don't want it interfering with your sleep, because it can do that um, sometimes. But it's really important you understand this is a spark plug for your mitochondria. So this ignites the mitochondria into, into working and in, in the production of energy. Okay, so that's the uh, magnesium, which is fantastic. Um, now, let's go with, there are other energy supplements, but I'm going to come to those later. I'm going to deal with the ones that I dealt with in the last video first. So, uh, so... Let's now deal with your digestive system. So I take 20 billion uh, cultures of uh, acidophilus um, probiotic, which uh, is ex extremely effective for the maintenance of a healthy gut. And they are, once again, Holland and Barrett. I don't know whether I told you the other one was Holland and Barrett. It's rather magnesium. It's Holland and Barrett. And uh, this is also Holland and Barrett. Dovetailing with that, I take digestive enzymes, a full spectrum formula, once again, Holland and Barra enzyme formula, full spectrum it says there, and it's got that list of ingredients back to front, albeit on this video, but um, containing amylase, lipase, um, does it contain protease? Yeah, protease is in there as well, which deal with the three uh, categories of fats, um, proteins and carbohydrates, not in that order. Um, so that's really effective. I found those really, really useful. So that's the digestive health, health dealt with as well. But also, actually, no, it isn't, because there's also caprylic acid. 
This is extremely effective for the treatment of candida overgrowth and proliferation in the gut, which can cause a number of symptoms such as leaky gut syndrome, albeit not scientifically established, but that is uh, what is um, um, the um, hypothesis out there. But anyway, I believe in it very much so because I found that taking these really helped with my fatigue, really helped with the uh, with, with, with the aspect of tiredness um, and made me feel a little bit freer inside really. So this is really useful for, for the treatment of candida. Then we've got turmeric, very good for anxiety, for depression. It's an anti-inflammatory. Um, it's also a nature's garden uh, brand, which I've got from Holland and Barrett. I'm getting a theme here. I'm not endorsed by Holland and Barrett, can I just point out? Um, uh, though, if I was, I'd be wanting a lot of money right now. Um, joking, of course. So, um, turmeric is really, really effective for all of those things. It's fabulous. Um, it is also supposed to be very beneficial for your memory. And um, studies have shown in India, um, in particular, which is a country that has a lot of turmeric, because obviously we like curry. Um, not a racist statement, it's a fact. Um, so what ends up happening is it can it can be very, very beneficial for, for, for that, for, for memory. Um, the tr oh, I didn't finish it. Uh, because it's been uh, thought to have a, 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 not a causal factor, but a reduction in the number of people with Alzheimer's, actually, in countries where a large amount of turmeric is consumed. Hyaluronic acid for joints. Uh, Cod liver oil, 2,000 milligrams a day. Um, now, 2,000 milligrams a day because it has a high EPA and a high DHA content, which is 30% of your brain matter is constituted of this, so it's quite useful. Very good, again, for brain fog and things like that. Now, I'm going to come on to um, NADH, which is this brand. Lots of people have been asking me, um, with regard to my former videos, as to what brands I was using that's on doing this. So, this is a co coenzyme, sorry. Um, version, a uh, high, what's the word I'm looking for, bioavailable bio substance. Um, it's a bioactive version of vitamin B3. It's extremely effective for everything from mood elevation. Um, it, it controls your aggression, lifts your serotonin level. It's extremely effective for all aspects of energy generation. Um, in that, it also is in, it's actually, sorry, before I continue, it's also called the energy of life molecule because B3 or this version of B3 is very, very uh, effective as an antioxidant and it stops oxidative damage in um, various aspects of your body, but of course in your brain. Um, and, and it is also involved in the um, activation of alcohol dehydrogenase and um, acetyl dehydrogenase, both are enzymes involved in the detoxification of alcohol, which is, of course, a toxin from your liver. Very effective in generation of ATP in an efficient way, and it modulates, as I said, mood, temperament, uh, sexual behaviour, um, various other aspects, but mainly it is about energy. Uh, people who take it, general well-being and positivity is what they experience, and that's why I cannot endorse this brand enough, and this is... Uh, helenia.co.uk if you want to buy it but again you can get it from Amazon okay Amazon um, my neighbor sorry um, okay so now we're gonna go to the new stuff that I've been taking so this is the um, transdermal b12 spray you can get this from dr. Sarah Myhill's uh, website which um, sources to the UK I don't know whether they're sourced abroad but this is a transdermal spray which is a 6% absorption versus a 1% absorption <coughs> Uh, versus a 1% absorption, um, which means, I mean, there are some disadvantages to it. You can probably see my arm here is looking a little bit red because actually when you spray it, you can see it is actually a red um, spray. And all you do, you just rub it into your skin like so. It does leave a little bit of a, a red tint to your skin. So I would advise that you put it on your legs or on your stomach, which is uh, awkward if um, you're trying to, in my case, get it into uh, your body between lessons. So that's why I tend not to unbutton my shirt at school. Instead, I just tend to uh, unbutton the uh, sleeves and just rub it in like that because it's a lot easier for me. Um, so that's transdermal beetle so spray. Now, why is that important? Oh my God, this has changed my life. I can't even, I can't even um, overplay this enough because this one is a game changer. I had numbness in my hands, numbness in my feet, numbness in my tongue, which is really annoying. Um, and brain fog still was there, 
Um, and I only just started taking this around about six, six to eight weeks ago. Ordered it, read a lot of research about it, and it literally has changed my life. The, the numbness and tingling has gone all, almost. The brain fog is so much more, um, oh, sorry, sorry, so much less prevalent and so much more, uh, I feel just so much more acute and so much more with it, really. Um, my skin really improved. It brightened everything up there. Um, and remember, it's a constituent of your myelin sheath. Okay? Uh, sorry, I shouldn't say it's a constituent. It helps maintain your myelin sheath. So that's why it's really important to effectively protect your nerves with this sort of stuff. So it's very, very useful. Also important in making DNA, so don't forget that. Very, very useful. Can I recommend it enough? No. Please buy. Dr. Sarah, Sarah Myhill's website will have all of that in there. Transdermal B12 spray. Um, okay, the other one, B2, this is another game changer, and cheap, it's only like £6, so it's not a lot of money at all, um, and it is really, really effective for, um, obviously if you've got a B2 deficiency, it's going to be effective, but it's very, very useful for, for lifting your mood, for uh, being used to treat a little bit, little bit of depression and anxiety, because you know those two things definitely come hand in hand and it combats fatigue and again Holland and Barrett so uh, vitamin B2 riboflavin 100 milligrams I take around about three a day even though the instructions say one or two a day but I don't like to stick to those because I basically know what my body needs I know and I listened acutely to my body in the early stages I still listen acutely to my body's instructions now and I find that you should be listening to the best barometer of your own well-being and that is your reaction to uh to to supplements and, and and to the environment so you your body is the best barometer listen to it so that is a uh, very very easy also I, and also it helped me with the vision as well actually um my, my eyes used to get very very tired um and that has helped a lot and don't take it just from me mama sony is very very um, up with this as well it's really changed her as well i mean all of these substances that's my mom by the way um changed um how she is behaving acting and um it just seems a lot more positive um she's on all of these as well so i'd like to point that out as well uh, out as well none of these as i said again are taken in isolation as a magic silver bullet collectively however they are amazing so um b1 really really useful as well b1 is very very potent uh, again for energy generation but also i mean if you consider the power of vitamin b1 it can be used to uh, prevent any further damage from alcoholism uh, with a condition in particular called Korsakoff syndrome. Um, so if you if you can imagine that this is so potent in its protection against a really, you know, that's a debilitating condition, um, then you can consider very likely that this is going to protect you in your own energy crisis. Prevents memory loss. It has been linked to the prevention of degradation in Alzheimer's patients. Positive mental acuity. Enhanced learning abilities. Vitamin B1, Holland and Barrett. Okay, so that's that. And then finally, this little gem. This little gem is called PQQ. Can you see that? Vitamin, uh, well, it's, it actually was almost categorised as a vitamin. I used the word vitamin there, but it was almost categorised as a vitamin at one time. Now, it is considered the master antioxidant. Um, it is... Um, absolutely essential um, because it protects against oxidative stress and oxidative stress if you consider can cause damaged uh, damaged cells damaged dna everywhere in the body then that's obviously going to have an impact on you and your health it's also vital for the generation of mitochondria and when i say the generation of mitochondria this is new mitochondria being created we have mitochondria as CFSME sufferers, of course we do, because if we didn't we'd be dead. Uh, but it is perhaps a lower quantity, I speculate, or that the mitochondria that we already have is already damaged in some way. Now, if you consider that those two aspects are prevalent in our conditions, then it's really, really vital that you perhaps need to generate new ones, and this is effective in the biogenesis of new mitochondria. Um, it protects your heart protects your nerves, protects your um, cellular aging. It's just brilliant. It's three, sorry, 30 to 5,000, I think it is, times more antioxidant than and, protect, and protective than vitamin C, which is ascorbic acid. 
So it's it's fairly potent, this one. It's fairly good. Um, highly recommended. How did I feel after I started taking this? Amazing. So that's where we are at. Um, so thank you very much for uh, watching this video. I hope you did find it useful. It is the supplements video part two. Um, I have been through this condi condition. I am going through this condition. I am on the road to full recovery now. Um, my previous videos, I probably said that before, but I can't even tell you how much closer I am now to what I was then. You can see that in my face, in my in my demeanor, in the fluidity of my thought and the uh, the coherence of my words. So it, it works, guys. It really, really works. Any videos or any comments that you, sorry, any comments, not any videos, any comments that you would like to put, please endeavor to do so in the comment box down below. Subscribe and like more videos to come soon i'm just going to go finger my own mouth there very very elegantly um, as i close to this video <laughs> and so best of luck for you for you and your healing and um, good luck take care bye, -bye.